Well, first, let me say you're welcome because everyone's going to thank me after I give them this pick. Julian Edelman is 92.50. He had 18 catches on 23 targets the last two weeks to go along with two touchdowns. They're playing Cleveland. Joe Hayden, I would be shocked if he covers Julian Edelman. So Edelman's going to be targeted heavily again. He's going to get plenty of catches, and he should get into the end zone too. I think this is incredible value for him. His price is not adjusted to where it should be. And uh, it's, it's a mistake, pretty much, in my opinion. Almost a must play. Well, I'd love to give you a sleeper wide receiver, but huh, I already have with Andre Holmes. Um, and so I'm going to give you a quarterback here. I'm going to give you E.J. Manuel of the Bills. Um, I went with a very average price quarterback in Matt Ryan this week. I, I'd chosen to save more money there. I actually considered Manuel because I liked the matchup. Uh, Tampa Bay despite the fact that they have Darrell Rivas on one side of the field, is shockingly bad at defending the pass. And you know it's not because of Rivas. Um, what Rivas does well is he shuts down the other team's top wide receiver. But Buffalo has no top wide receiver. So even if Rivas is taking the best guy out of the game, it's not going to slow down Buffalo's passing game. Now, I'm not trying to tell you that this is New England here. Uh, but... Uh, Worst teams have passed the ball well on Tampa Bay. I expect Buffalo to do the same. Uh, and Manuel at his low price, if he has even a decent game, I think he'll give you a good value. I agree with you. I think it's a great quarterback uh, suggestion for people that want to spend a little bit less on their quarterback this week. Um, you're looking at the matchup, too. It's a very good matchup. Uh, consistently all season, Tampa Bay's actually given up quite a few points to quarterbacks. And this is supposed to be the best weather game of the entire slate. You're looking at a sunny 81 degrees, you know, early weather reports, you know, but uh, that looks like a, a very good thing for uh, EJ Manuel and his weapons like CJ Spiller that like the, the fast track and not the slop and mud. So uh, another guy I've got for you though is Burleson. Nate Burleson uh, is coming off a really uh, horrible week, right? He had zero catches. He uh, the, the reason for this is, though, you got to look into it a little, a little deeper. He's coming off a huge injury where he uh, fractured his arm. And that game this last week was a Thanksgiving game, okay? It was a short week, so they didn't have much time to kind of rest him. And I think moving forward, this projects to be obviously a, a plenty of rest for him, a little bit longer week, and they should give him the full snap count this week. And consistently all year, besides that one game, he he's – put up points. So I think six, six plus catches every single game. I think it's a great matchup. We've talked about Calvin, how good of a matchup it is for him. It's obviously a good matchup for Burleson as well. One thing that I like to do is I, I like to give advice to these NFL teams. And one thing I'm going to give Cleveland is put Joe Hayden on Edelman. Uh, I agree. Edelman's become, other than Gronkowski, uh, New England's best receiver. So Hayden's got to be guarding him. What about Gronk? Week. What well, are you going to do with too Gronk? Too small to guard him. Uh, I don't know. About um, that. And while we're at it, Jets run the ball more with Chris Ivory. Chris Ivory is the Jets' best offensive weapon. We know they can't pass the ball. Uh, so don't even think they're going to try to pass the ball against the Raiders this week. Problem is, they don't give the ball to Ivory enough even when they do run the ball. Ivory's their best back. He's coming off a good game. The Raiders are coming off a game in which they gave up a three touchdown day um, to DeMarco Murray. I think the potential is there for Ivory to have a nice day this week. Uh, nice sleeper pick at running back. Well, the problem is I don't think Rex Ryan is as sold on Ivory as you are. You know, they alternate uh, carries between the running backs back there, and he typically doesn't get a very full workload. He had one game where he had like 33 carries or something, but that was uh, extremely rare, and I don't foresee that happening again. And uh, he just never really excites me. You know, he doesn't get enough volume. Didn't Rex put a like on our Facebook page? I think he's, he's listening. He's, he? you know, yeah, Rex, play Ivory more. <laughs>